sky is dark and the wind is malicious, so the lighting is subpar. How much swag can I swag before I'm too swag? Hello there, internet. Nerdcon was amazing. This video is going to come to you in three parts. One being panels, two being humans, and three being I can fangirl. Nerdcon started off with a main stage show. It's when the internet became real for me. It's when Hank Green was literally like 20 feet away from me and I was like, oh look, there's the internet. After the first main stage show, I went to a panel, So You Want to Change the World, Activism and Narrative. When I saw the agenda for Nerdcon, this is the panel I was like, want to go to. Didn't even look at the panelists until later. It was a super cool panel and it just made me want to get involved more and be more outspoken for the things that I'm passionate about. I went to the Nerdfighter Q&A which was moderated by Maureen Johnson and of course Hank and John were the panelists and they talked about Nerdfighteria and them as humans. I went to the afternoon main stage show. After that I mulled around for a little bit and then went to watch the super fight. So much happened in just an hour. I mean, I guess I'm a supporter of the Guacanati now. Saturday and went to the morning main stage show then where John Green talked about how our minds can be a prison of ourselves. If things are different, it's because my cam my camera battery card thing was full. Card. I was 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 a card that was full. Continue. The art of performing, doing your thing in front of people panel. As a performer, I found it very interesting and very informational and used things that I could take to life. Words, they're hard! And then after that, I wanted to go to the Hank Green signing in the Van Girl section. It's fine. I went to the main stage showing at 3.30, listened to all the people talk. Then at 6 o'clock, it was the Harry Potter Alliance's 10th birthday party. And people were there such as Harry and the Potters, Hank Green sang some songs, Jackson Bird was doing his thing, Maureen Johnson was there, played some xylophone, and did her thing like she does. And then at 8.30 I went to the New York Neo Futurist showing of Too Much Light Makes the Baby Go Blind and it was amazing. People, people, people! After the So You Wanna Change the World panel, I got recognized? I'll link her channel in the description, but her YouTube name, you might have seen her in the comments, Firewood Sparkler. She's like, hey, I know you. And I was like, hey, you do? And she's like, you're Abby. And I was like, hey, yeah, hello, hello. And then I said hello about 20 times. If you're watching, you probably thought I was crazy. I understand. I do all the time as well. And then Saturday, I met Steve. So hello, Steve. How's it going? It was the swell time. Saturday morning, I was like, haven't seen Steve at all, but keep seeing the same people over and over again. What is this? And then he tweeted me later and was like, hey, we're about to get food. Where are you? And I was like, hey, I'm about to get food. And then I heard his voice behind me, and I turned around, and he was behind me in line. And there was a whole swarm of Aranda knots there. Picture here. And so then we kind of hung about, and uh, Steve and Maya and I got in the Hank Green signing line. It was complete chaos, but we got it. If I met you or didn't meet you, but you saw me and you were like, hey, that girl seems weird. It was me. I'm very socially awkward to those of you who met me. I don't know if you saw that. I don't know how to talk to people in life at all. So, hello. Um, welcome. I was happy to meet you, even if you were like, this girl seems off because I'm weird. Okay, continue. And now we've come to the third section. The hey, I met some people that I really admire part of the video. So like I said, I was like, I'm gonna go to the So You Wanna Change the World panel. Didn't even look at the panelists until a week before NerdCon and I saw that uh, Mara Wilson and Jackson Bird were both on the panel. Matilda was my favorite movie when I was little and I've only been watching Jackson for a few months, but already him and his videos have made such an impact on my life, and it was just a crazy moment in time. So I was sitting in the So You Wanna Change the World panel, waiting for it to start. I was just sitting in the room, and Jackson walks in, looks around a little bit, walks out. My heart literally dropped. I was like, oh my god, that was that, that, that was Jack. And then a few minutes later, he came in to talk to the volunteer who was sitting a seat over from me, and so he was like four feet from me, and I was like, you are right there. This is backwards order, just so you're aware. But after the panel, I went up and talked to Mara Wilson. Matilda helped me learn that it's okay to be myself, and being myself is chill when I was little. So thank you. Shook her hand, talked to her. That was super cool. I also talked to Jackson. And that just meant a lot. These girls were taking a picture with him beforehand, and I was like, can I get a picture with you too? And he was like, yeah, of course. Like I handed this girl my camera and he was like, oh, I've got the same camera. And I was like, cool, it's a great camera because I don't know how to be a human in front of other people. And then I shook his hand 
and I said, you know, thank you, you are a light in my world, which is super duper cheesy. As long as those words came out coherently, cheesy or not, it's fine. Because it's true. Poor Jackson. Boy probably thought I was stalking him. I swear I wasn't. Jack, if you ever watch this video, swear I wasn't stalking you. Swear. But Saturday then I was just chilling in the vendor room and Jackson just so happened to be there. And Steve was kind of talking to him and I was with Steve at the time, so I was just kind of chilling there. And uh, Jackson looked over and was like, oh, I like your pin. I have a Willet Waffle pin on my badge. It's fine. And I said, thanks. And then he goes, did I meet you at VidCon or GeekyCon or something? And I was like, oh, you met me yesterday. And he was like, oh, yes, yeah, so much time has passed. And I was like, yeah, I know. Thanks for remembering my face. <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't actually audibly say thanks for remembering my face. <laughs> my brain thought it. I, my, my mouth did not speak it. And since he's the communications guy at the Harry Potter Alliance, he was, you know, like, presenting during the birthday party and everything, and I was at the birthday party, and people were gathering around him afterwards, and I was like, okay, Abby, you didn't get him to sign anything yesterday, and you know you want to, so go ahead and take your inspiration journal up to him and have him sign it for you, if you could. He looks at me, and I was like, hey! <laughs> no, I talked to you earlier and got a picture with you yesterday, but I never had a chance to ask you if you would sign my inspiration journal. So I was wondering if you would do that. And he was like, yeah, sure, of course. And I was like, you know, because you're an inspiration to me. Super cheesy, again. And so this is, this is super special to me because it's super, it's super cool. I don't know if you can read that, but what it says is, Abby, you're the hero of your own story. DFTBA, Jackson Bird with a waffle. Very happy that I had the courage to go up there and talk to him so many times and get that chance to just try to express the meaningness that he means. I swear I'm fluent in English. So, you know, me, Steve, and Maya got into the hand green signing line. I was freaking out. This is the first time I've ever met people that I was like, hey, look, I think you're pretty swell. And I'm, as we know, I'm great with talking to people. So of course I wasn't gonna be nervous about it at all. Maya was trying to calm me down. She's like, he's just a person, you're just a person, you're both just people. But it was finally my turn. Got up there, went up to Hank, and I was like, hi. <laughs> and I was like, will you sign this? And he signed it for me, as he signed Hanklerfish right there. And I said some nice words, you know, like, thank you, your videos have been there for me when I needed them, and I'm very appreciative of that, and I just want to thank you, and... <laughs> so yeah, I tried not to fangirl too hard. I don't think it worked, but I tried. So that was my NerdCon experience. I had an absolutely wonderful time, and I am so lucky that I had the opportunity to go to Minneapolis and be a part of this convention. Because everybody had the chance to share who they were and what they wanted to bring through the world through their story. And that's cool. That's so cool. In the comments, why don't you tell me a story? It can be funny, it can be meaningful, it can be sad, it can be happy, joyous. Just tell me a story and let's just share who we are because we're all made up of stories. Like and subscribe if you want to, too. Yeah. But that is it for this week, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!